What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying the birthday cake minnow crappie jig. So for this jig I'm using a 1 16th ounce jig head powder painted with Disco Gold Protec and it has a size 4 sickle hook. For the thread I'm just going to be using a white uni thread. This is a 6 aught thread. I'm just going to start that behind the head and wind it down to the point of the hook. For the tail I'm going to be using a single cream marabou feather. This has a nice cake dough color that'll work well with this jig. So I'm just going to run my fingers up to the tips of the feather from the base there. And then we're going to measure it out, make sure that the length of the tail is going to be about the length of the hook shank. We're just going to pinch that feather right there at the point of the hook and tie it down. Make sure you get about five good turns before you let go of the tail end. And then you can wind it up the rest of the way. Make sure you keep it tight so the tail won't turn on you. And then once you get it up to the head, you can cut that feather off. Now we're going to clean this up. Just go over it with our thread and bring the thread back down to where we tied in the tail, just to make sure we get some nice tight wraps to keep the tail tied down. Then we're going to bring the thread back up to the head. For the body, I'm going to be using this New Age Chenille. This is bait fish color, and this is what inspired the name Birthday Cake Minnow. So I'm just going to take a piece of that about 5 inches long and tie it in from the head down to the tail. Then we're going to start winding that chenille just right at the tail. Make sure you keep the chenille perpendicular with the hook shank and just start winding it up to the head. You can see those colorful fibers give it a really cool effect. And the fish really love it. All right, be careful with that chenille, putting it under the thread. And now we're gonna tie it down. Make sure you get three really good wraps behind the chenille and then one in front of it. Then you can clip that tag end off. And there you can see we have a nice straight body with a slight taper, just like a bait fish. All right, and to finish this thing up, I'm gonna use some hairline ice dub. This is tan UV color. So I'm gonna take a little clump of that and just stack these fibers, just pull them apart and line up the ends each time you pull them apart. Just want to keep doing that until they're kind of difficult to pull apart just like that and now we're gonna pull them apart uh, lengthwise like this and we're going to flip them sideways and hold them right on top of the jig with just enough pressure to keep them held down go around the whole thing with our thread and then pinch it down and you should have a nice layer of ice stub surrounding the entire jig. Just like that. So now we're going to pull all these fibers back and go over that with our thread. Do it again. Make sure you have a few turns of thread in front of the ice stub to make sure those fibers stay back. And then you can pull those fibers to pull out any of the loose ice stub fibers that want to come out. And now we're going to carefully whip finish, just pull the fibers back once again and get your turns in. You want to do a five or six turn whip finish just right in front of those fibers, just like that. Pull it tight and cut your thread. So that's it. It looks kind of buggy and crazy right now. This is what it looks like dry. Um, it's not as impressive as when it's wet, so let me get it wet real quick and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, that ice stub gives the body a really nice minnow-like effect. It has a little humpback, just like a little bait fish. That gold head makes it stand out. You can see all those birthday cake colored chenille fibers through the translucent body. And the cream makes it look like a natural bait fish. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of future videos.